never give in. Never, never, never. Those are the original timbers? No, no, we've right. put those in so we can put a door on. Right. We've had a lot of trouble with people missing that. You know. I'm sure. Right, I think you were right. There we go. Right, well we're in the main living area here. We've had to waddle along um, over this channel. Originally it had a timber floor with floorboards and you can actually see in places the rendering comes down to a certain level and then it's bare brick. Just behind there there's remains of one of the bunk beds, um, a mesh bed, and there are little clips up on the side so they can be folded away and clipped out of space to give you um, more room for living. And of course, we've come down a flight of stairs, but that actually would have been a tunnel um, when this was operational, but that has, of course, collapsed in. So, quite a small area. You can see where the hurricane lanterns, I suppose, in yeah. here for lighting. Uh, well, our side it was a quarry man, and we won several tilly lamps. We sat in tilly lamps. So much better light, they yes. Just turned up yes. Because it would have made condensation, mm. it would have been very, very sort of sticky and humid in here, wouldn't it? And we think probably they would have had a trestle table up the centre and a few benches to sit on. Uh, they had what you could get. Yeah. Uh, in the Parham OP, they got a table from the original OP nearby. Mm. And that's just a, an ordinary table with McLean's. But obviously, if stuff was around, it was moved down. Moved, yes, so it's really so I can't recall. Improvisation. Well, our, our, ours was in a stone mine. Yes. So we brought bits and pieces up. Uh, we had one or two camp beds stowed away, which we could move in quickly, mm. and things like that. And, uh, mm. Yeah, we, 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 we had to build ours by taking the fallen stone and in the cavern, building up a wall that looked like fallen scree. So our living oh, space was behind, behind it. Behind that, hidden away. With a couple of zigzags to get into it. Gosh, similar to here, we've got a blast wall, you know, you come down the entrance shaft and you have to squeeze round a very narrow little gap. Well, the wall that we built up would have acted as a blast wall. The entrance into ours was about just a fraction more than shoulder width. And if you got on your back, you could wriggle into it. Mm. And it was about six or eight feet down a wriggle slope. And then there was a stone scree which dropped to oh, seven or eight feet to the original floor of the old mine. And then you had plenty of space. Yes. You know, we yes, with the we saw 20 or 30 feet that way, 20 feet that Gosh. way, and a tunnel off there that went half a mile that way. And wow. once, once you were inside, <laughs> there, was a, there was plenty of room to manoeuvre. Yes. So the sound view system wasn't too bad. You could take, <laughs> you could take it back down. Take it a long way away. And, and we had a stream that came down quite close to us so we could get water in. Yes. And we used to uh, dump a certain amount of stuff there, like, uh, Mills bombs and heavy stuff, like detonators, wrapped in tarpaulin and bury it under the screen. Mm. And then we had all the other ready use stuff, and we had the use of a van, and we practiced so that we could rendezvous and we could ship all the other stuff up within an hour and a half into the ocean. Gosh, gosh. Does this feel strange to be in here, Bob? You know, does it no, have no, that sort of feeling no, as no, the... no, no. Uh, We'd have liked somebody to build one for us. <laughs> they were saying a lot of weekends heaving stone. Yes, <laughs> yes. yes. Um, well, no, so, of course, the entrance is, is oh, through there. Through there, yes. There's a little alcove to the left which had the LSAN in yeah. with a flue leading away. And then to the, the right, there's the um, little table where there was a cooker. Yeah. With a blast and wall the flue going, going up inside. Here, so. And then the blast wall directly in front of us. And actually, on the blast wall, you could see where little brackets were fitted, uh, like a little tier of ladder of shelves yeah. really which was probably the larder and then there's the bit to squeeze round we kind of feel that that's so narrow that if if somebody wanted to get in here they'd have or perhaps a, a, a German on. soldier would have to remove some webbing and stuff before he could get in and, and work around that 
Because you wore sort of denims, didn't you? Sort of boiler suits. We had denims. We had denims, and we had uh, ordinary home guard uniform. Mm. But uh, it would be a case of depending on what you were going to do, what you took with you. Yeah. Um, basically, it would be a small pack on your back, mm. on the wooden pack. Uh, sometimes you had a belt with pouches, that you could, uh, pouches in. As far as firearms are concerned, not a lot. As I said earlier mm. on. Uh, if you had to use a firearm, you were in trouble anyway. You've given the game away, mm. yes, so it's really to be... So it would... Uh, and it's select it's it's we had quite a lot of equipment, and you'd select what you wanted for the particular job and send yeah. over explosive, yeah. depending on what target you found. Shall we have a look through there, Bob? It's quite tight. It's remarkable. Dry. Yeah. yeah. So. Mind my bag, mate. There's a dip in the floor, look. That channel, because it takes any water, you see. Mm. That's where the stove was here, and that's the chimney cube uh, thing to your right. Uh, quite tight there. <laughs> you can look up and see. There you are. You could have been staying in one of these. <laughs> <laughs> And Bob, you know, notice the door frame, you see that this is one of the puzzles, they're tapered. You can see that although the wood's gone, you can see where it was in the... And it's narrow at the top and broad at the bottom, so we think that the doors all went backwards. So as you came through, they slammed shut behind you. And all the door frames are like that, all the way through it. Which is an unusual feature, I don't think the boys from Frampton have actually sort of seen that before.